suicide. This is a friend of Molly Prince's. He's just been scratched. You better drop around. the time on that call? Yes, sir. 9.01. Good. Your eyes. I want two cars in about five minutes. Okay. Radio. Cars 49, 50, 51. Van Ness to Embarcadero, market to Fisherman's Wharf. Close both bridges and Highway 101. Lock her up until you hear from me. Got it? Got it. Any description? Not yet. Stand by in half an hour. Want me to stop? No, no. I'll finish the job. This is in the bag anyway. I'll never understand why a guy commits a crime in San Francisco. With only three exits, the guy should know he's a fly in a bottle. Who done what? Marty Prince. Somebody finally got him. Without even trying, I can think of three good prospects. But somebody should get a medal when he goes to the gas chamber. Good night. Thanks. Good night. Making with the phone was smart, fella. You had the gut to report your own mistake. It'll take the heat clean off you. If you can just make Connie's place in seven minutes. You got no car and they know it, so how could you give it to Marty and be at Connie seven minutes later? Virginia? There's a fella bound and determined to get somewhere in a hurry. You gotta relax. Spend a little time with us. You're not here, the whole idea cracks open. You gotta be. I made it in six and a half minutes. But if you're not home, Connie, it's no good. Oh, great. Too much running. Oh, Connie. Oh, you're a genius, all right. Get yourself out of this town right now, before they close it up. Now they've closed the Bay Bridge and the highway south will be crawling with coppers.
Hey, Barney. Well, Hamill, when did you get in? This afternoon, just before the fog, by golly. Tell me, Hamill, how's your son coming along, huh? Carl be quite the long line fisherman now. Be fishing the hard way for a young fella. Bring up a son all alone like you've done, it's a tougher job, Hamill. But now it's no time to be discouraged. All kids, they get into some kind of a trouble before they settle down. Did you get him all straightened out with the police yet? Yeah, Barney. The judge have long talk with Carl and me. I think that judge is a very smart man. The Carl turn out all right. Oh, sure he will. I better go home quick enough before it's too late. What time you sail in the morning? Four o'clock. Good fishing. And good night. San Francisco's fourth exit. Outside, huh? Rudy! Hey! Disappointed? Connie? How do you know my name? It's on the buzzer plate. You get out of here before I call my husband. You haven't got a husband. Now sit down and relax. Does that badge entitle you to barge into an apartment any time you want? Sit down. Wife? Stop trying to be a lawyer. My name is Kelsey, and I don't enjoy being up here at this hour any more than you do. But we want words with your friend Felkin, tonight. He lives at the Pacific Hotel. Oh, we know that. And we know, among other things, he spends a lot of time around here. Look, it's 3 a.m. now, and Bruno decided not to go back to his hotel last night. Where'd he go? I wouldn't know, Mr. Kelsey. Lieutenant Kelsey, please. Now, uh, when were you last arrested? I've never been arrested. Oh, look, I'm just trying to save us the trouble of looking at the files. Where are you from, and how old are you? Twenty-five, uh, I guess, huh? Lessing, Nebraska, and I'm 23. You're an old-looking 23. How would you like a slap in the face? Well, come to think of it, I guess you're right. Things always just seem to work out that I'd be older than I should be. Ever married? No. I hate to admit it, but nobody ever asked me. If I knew what was wrong, I'd do something about it. Parents alive? I've been an orphan since I was 11. What do you claim for an occupation? I sell hats. Well, where's the shop? Men give me their hats, and a little while later, I sell them back. It's a pretty nice apartment for a hat check, girl. Where I work, the customers are generous. No doubt. Look, honey, lies I write down. The truth I keep in my head. Now, how did you get mixed up with Falcon? And don't make me write anything down, huh? I like Bruno. Can't you find some better company? He's been pretty wonderful to me. Sure he has. Did he ever tell you he's a three-time loser? Yes, he did. You must be in love with him. Bruno Dunn. Killed a man. I don't believe you. Why not? 
Well, he couldn't have. He, he was with me all the time. All what time? All day yesterday and today, up until a couple hours ago. I, I was lying when I said I didn't know where he was. He, he left just before you came. You're a very poor liar, Connie. After 12 years on the force, I've seen a lot of apartments. They all tell a story. Yours is a good example. Where a blind man could see there was only one person here last night. Chances are that person was you. Connie, I'd hate to see you sent up for A&A. &A. What's that? Aiding and abetting. In this state, it gets you up to five years. So? You're not scaring me. I'll think it over just the same. Look, I'm going to stick around. If you want to go back to bed, go ahead. But uh, if the phone rings, we sort of answer it together, understand? You talk and I listen. I have to go to school today. School? What's this school business? It's Bruno's idea. He thinks I got a lot to learn. Well, we all do. For instance, I just learned you can never be sure what a smart criminal like Bruno is going to think of next. He's not a criminal. If he ever was one, he's changed. The ones like Bruno never change. I've never seen or talked to you, Bruno. But I'm willing to bet he's really two people. One, the side he shows you, is probably quite a nice guy. All the smart ones are that way. He might even want to play things straight. Something eats away at a man like Bruno. Like acid in a battery. The outside case looks fine, but inside the plates are rotten. He knows he'll never get what he really wants. But he'll try, oh, he'll try. And he won't let anybody stand in his way. Connie, why don't you catch some sleep for yourself? I couldn't sleep now. You want some breakfast? <laughs> but don't tell me you can cook. It's the one thing I learned to do right. Maybe because I like it. Two, then. Sunny side up. You look to me like a man who would like them easy. Right, Johnny. Easy. have a good catch there's no reason for you to spend all your share you get a big headache i worked for i'll spend it like i want yeah of course but if you spend only a little you get only a small headache and you can work much better next day get wise to yourself this is america not the old country work is for jerks you've been here for 27 years now what have you got the show for it beside this stinking boat Fishing is good, honest living, Carl. We have never any cause to feel ashamed. V, did it W. You just keep saying W's for another 27 years and maybe you'll hit one right. Now just stay out of my business. Be sure I'll stay out of yours forever. I wish you could feel different, Carl. Your mother would have liked it that way. Hey. We've got a passenger. I'm sorry, mister. I, I guess I had one too many last night. I, I decided to take myself for a little walk, and I wind up on the wharf. All of a sudden, I'm so sleepy, I can hardly keep my eyes open. I, I don't remember exactly, but the boat looks like a good place to lie down, and next thing I know, here I am. Come inside. Catch cold with no coat. I 
I'm sure sorry, mister. You see, I'm a salesman and business has been bad and I've had a lot of personal worries lately and I guess I was feeling sorry for myself. I don't like to put back now. You missed the tide then, lose a day. Oh, I, I wouldn't want to be taken back. I got nothing to do, I had no place to go, nothing important, understand? But we go to sea, three, four days maybe. That's fine, I'll, I'll pay you for the food I eat. When this bucket hits the open ocean, you won't be eating anything. I'm short of cash, but I could let you have this watch as security, and uh, if I stayed, I could maybe do the dishes. Or... You ever go to sea before? Well, I'm not exactly an admiral, but I feel great. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah, yeah, if it's not too much trouble. What name do they call you? Bruno. Is that all? Um, Falcon. I am Hamel Linda, my son, Carl. Uh, who's steering this boat, or is there a ghost on board? The old man finally broke down on board the automatic pilot. Steering's the only thing he doesn't do the hard way. I suppose by and by they invent the machine to make the fish yelp on board. That'd be a fine day, so Carl. Let the fish go their way, I'll go mine. Do you swim? Fresh class. When I was a kid, it was free in the river. It was one thing I could afford. Good. The only dangerous thing about fishing, maybe, is to fall overboard. That's what I keep saying to Carl, because he never cared to learn. So, if you be very careful, I think it'd be all right for you to come along. Next to farming, this be probably the oldest business in the world, Bruno. This long lining be just the same for 2,000 years, maybe more. Did you know that four of Christ's apostles were fishermen? I'm not quite up on those things. Each basket have 225 hooks on its line. We set them along the trough here, and we fasten the end of one basket to the beginning of the next and have one continuous line. So, how long a line does that make? About a mile. The hooks are set one fathom apart. Now, over goes the marker, boy, so. Over goes the first anchor, so. It sinks down about 1,800 feet. And over go the ground lines with the hooks, very fast. This I gotta see. How do you know there's any fish down there? Ah, that's where you use your noodle. By and by, we take some soundings and commence to think like a fish. What's that? That be the sun. We never see the sun before. I've never seen the sun rise just like that in my whole life. And I think you see many things in that little time you be to see with us. If your heart take the time to look for them. Such things have always been here. And always will be. a bad set, I think. Now it take 40 minutes to sink to the bottom. By and by, the fish have breakfast. Meanwhile, we have a little sleep. What's bothering you? You can ask. This kind of life just doesn't happen to suit my talents. Why take it out on your pop? For my money, he's a pretty good guy. You're lucky. I wish my old man had been like him. He's all right. We've just got different ideas. He's all country, wants to work his head off all day. Yeah, I see what you mean. There's no sense to it these days. If a fella can't have a car, a few women, and time to enjoy himself, why bother? Come September, I'll have all that. Why wait? 
The judge said I had to. He gave me a choice of five years in jail or a year on this boat. No matter how you slice it, he fixed me up at hard labor. What did I have on you? I borrowed a car. Without exactly getting the owner's full permission. Mind if I give you some good advice? I heard it before. Stealing isn't honest. It's worse than that. It's dumb. Stealing is for jerks who don't know their way around. What you ought to have is something that works for you while you sleep. You've got some fancy ideas for a salesman. What makes you think I swallowed your story about drinking so much you just fell on this boat? I happen to have a nice, steady business that might have an opening for a young fellow like you. Providing you can learn to keep your mouth shut. What makes you think I can't now? You wouldn't have told me about the car if you had learned. How would you like to make 200 a week? How'd I like to be Rockefeller? But selling's not for me. Well, you go into port pretty often, don't you? Two, three times a week. What I'd need you for wouldn't take more than a few hours every time. I have a lot of expensive equipment stashed here and there around town. People give me their money. The least I can do is collect it. What's the catch? Once in a while, there's a slight disagreement in regard to percentage and insurance on the machinery. People let their instincts run away with their heads. You got to reason with them. Twist their heads back into shape. Now, a big man can always get himself some respect in such negotiations. I see. It so happens I can use a little vacation out in the open air like this. It'd be good for me. If your pop would let me stay on the boat, I could sort of operate by remote control. He'll think you're crazy. But why don't you ask him? First, I need a good executive vice president with a strong arm. One who don't ask or answer questions. For 200, you found your man. I'm going to phone in. I'm leaving the Thatcher place now. Put on a 24-hour watch, but don't bother anybody until you hear from me. Got that? No, let her wander around all she wants. She may meet some interesting people. Night, she's gonna sink right out from under us. It's even odds, Virginia, which happened first. Do we drown or do we starve? Hey, fella. Yeah, we lose our happy home for sure. Can we have a little talk? Now, you better talk fast or we'll all be swimming. I can't pay. Even if she does own my beloved, marrying that woman, it'd be a fate worse than death. What woman? Johnny Bay Swanson, didn't she send you? No, 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 we don't even know your lady friend. We just have a few routine questions. Well, if you ain't from Johnny May, welcome aboard. I'll tell you when to put on life preservers. Were you around the wharf last night? Well, I always am. Me and cities don't mix. Make me so gall darn nervous, I can't stay sober in them. Did you see anything unusual? No. I had a bath up at the mission, and me and Virginia come to bed early. What time did you go for your bath? Well, 8 or 8.30. Walking home, me and Virginia took our time. I don't know, might have been nine. Why? Make any difference? Well, it could. There was a character loose in the neighborhood we'd like to talk to. Did you ever see any of these men before? I don't know. I... Seems like I've seen all of them one time or another. You know, it's a funny girl learned thing. Ever since I've been staying sober, I'm awful unreliable in the head. Get that feeling about most everyone. Mighty peculiar, huh? Hello, Diane! 
Quick, arrest me. Throw me in the gold iron tank for life. Can't you see I'm in conference, Johnny May? Dear? And with such nice-looking men. If you should see any of the men in these pictures, spend a nickel on a phone call to homicide. Ask for Lieutenant Kelsey. You'll get your nickel back. Sure happens I don't have one of them things. Here. Suppose I dial the wrong number. Get it right the second time. You're so handsome in the morning, Corky. If you come to represent the California state, you better hire yourself a diver. You know, a voice came to me in my dreams last night. Yeah, how come it got a word in edgewise? The voice said it should give you another month. That any man that had the strength to forsake the bottle on his own was worth waiting for. For the 165th time, I ain't about to marry you, boat or no boat, voice or no voice. You ain't getting any younger, Corky. Yeah, well, then why don't you let an old man be go look somewhere else? 30 days, Corky Mons, and not one minute more. 30 days! Well, Virginia, anyway, here's coffee for me and a bone for you. Watch your hands there, Bruno. Carefully, you catch a hook. Get this, Bruno. You gotta look at two extra hours of work tonight. Pretty soon you'll know what I mean about no fish ever hearing of union hours. Looks to me like we're about through for the day. How about that? Are you gonna tell him or should I? Maybe you better. I haven't got the heart. Yeah. We almost finished with the baskets. But we still have to make ready for tomorrow. We're through for the day when the last hook and flag are aboard. All we have left to do then is to clean about a ton and a half of fish, store them in a hole in the livers and cans. Then we swab down the decks for exercise. After supper, we remake these baskets. Then, Bruno, you can get the nice sleep. Sure. You want to be through by midnight. But sleep fast, because we start all over again at 4 a.m. Oh, 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 oh. Hit the pliers, a diodine. So, that'd be too bad. It's my fault. I wasn't being careful like you told me. Now they have to take it out. It will hurt pretty much. Do you want a drink to kind of... No, thanks. Ah, uh, steady, son. There. There. Have a lot to know, Bruno Falcon. Most man yell pretty loud. Sure. Now you best go lie down. Would a regular fisherman lie down? Sometimes. But you don't have to fish. But I want to. If you let me. But that'd be crazy. Why? I don't know. I just got a hunch that I like this kind of life. Maybe so. Maybe so. serious talk with whoever runs the joint about his life insurance. No matter how they squirm, cash on the line. Understand? Do you tell me when to breathe, too? Just swing your weight around and you'll find out. Now, when you 
two of the collections. Go to 399 Chestnut. Ring a bell mark, Connie Thatcher. If she isn't there, wait until she does get there. Make sure she's alone. Give her $100 and tell her to keep on getting good grades, no matter what. Tell her not to worry about a thing. I'll be in the front row on graduation day. And anybody that don't listen to me is an ostrich. I say the fishermen never got any help from the government, like the farmers. What we need is no government, no government at all. I know what it's like to be a fisherman. Man and boy, the I... The furthest you've been to sea is to fall off this here dock. Say that again, you runt. Now listen, General. He insulted me. The next time I see you pick on a little guy, I'll cut you down to half his size. So behave yourself. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. <laughs> Fine morning, Corky. Fine day for suicide. The fact matter is, I spent so much money on my boat, I ain't been feeding too well lately. It's always tough when you're trying to outfit, Corky. Well, I can't be just exactly sure when I can pay this much back. You give me a five spot last week. So what? One of these days, you're going to sink your boat with fish. You're the best risk of the harbor, Corky. I'm not worrying a minute. Uh, I was a little younger. You're the youngest guy I know. See you around, Corky. I can ever. No matter what anybody says, Virginia, there goes a man. I have a message for you, from Bruno. All right, Blackfoot, bring your badge with you. Oh, wow, they're getting younger and younger. What are you, a junior G-man? Uh, I happen to be a fisherman, temporarily. Why is it all cops are so big? Aren't there any little cops? I might try hiring a few. What? Little men are smarter. There's not so much space between their ears. Do you want Bruno's message or not? Oh, come on in. For the 50th time, I don't know where Bruno is. I do. And I'm not a cop. Like where? On my old man's boat. I like Bruno's slot machine business. And I like his taste in, uh... Make yourself right at home. Don't mind me. Oh, Bruno said not to worry about anything. And to take this. I've never seen a cut with hands like yours. What do you do, wash them with sandpaper? Been using my back instead of my brains. How is he? He's okay. He talked my old man into teaching him fishing. You don't look like a fisherman or act like one. What's your name? Carl. You know, this is a nice place. A very cozy little place. I wouldn't be surprised if we could find a lot to talk about. That's what I like, a man with a new approach. Now, let's get something clear in your head and we'll save a lot of energy. I got a lot to spare. If you don't understand me the first time, I'll gladly repeat it for you. Bruno Falcon may not be the most respectable citizen in San Francisco or uh, big and handsome, but he cares what happens to me, and he needs me enough to make me feel important. That's quite a full bill. Maybe someday I'll change my mind, but right now, Bruno is enough for me. I still think we ought to get to know each other better. Now, how about putting on your boots and coming out for a steak? I'm a vegetarian this year. Run along, Junior. If Bruno's going to take a vacation. I'm warning you. <laughs> would you like to try another round, or have you had enough? If you treat all your boyfriends like this, you'll wind up an old maid. I've met enough wolves in my time to overrun Siberia. I'm sick and tired. I can see that. Come on, get out of here before I lose my temper. Honey, I might bleed to death. Get a transfusion and come back when you grow up. You're quite a girl, Connie. I'll have to tell Bruno. He knows it. You just tell him Connie will be waiting. Come on.
anybody home? off with an old friend, uh, Barney something or other. Oh, well, uh, let us have coffee. Helps to fight the yearning, having coffee. That's why I drink it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I understand it was 20 years when I couldn't afford to stay sober and wine two bits a bottle. And this kind of night, the yearning gets called iron powerful. It used to be he just into the tank and out of the tank for me. Till that one night I woke up on a marble slab down to county hospital. No pulse. You understand, mate? None at all. It was over hasty with Corky Mullen. I'm all signed the OA. When I pushed the sheet back from my face and I sat straight up. The intern says either something's wrong with his apparatus or I'm a member of the cat family. Yeah, that did it. Not a drop has wet this road since. You're the new fella, ain't you? Yeah. I heard Hamill signed on a new fella, and he's all darn lucky. Hamill knows the names and addresses of every fish in the Pacific Ocean. And as soon as I get enough money to fix up my boat so she won't sink, I'm going to tag right on to Hamill and fish where he fishes. Well, I guess I talk too much, don't I, mate? You seem to have a lot on your mind. No, a fella gets that way if he's alone too much. Carl's the only one around the wharf who'll pay any attention to me. He knows I'm going to make out all right. He knows so well that he always comes through if I'm a little short. Wonderful fellow. Well, if he's so wonderful, why doesn't he treat his pop better? You know, I wonder that same thing many a time myself. It's a natural god darn shame they can't see eye to eye. By golly, mate, I, I seen you somewhere before. Let me think where that could have been. I spent a lot of time on the East Coast. You might have seen me in New York. No, no, I've never been to New York. Let me just see if I can't guess now. Sure getting old when I can't remember a face I see as plain as yours. Well, the uh, last four years I spent up in Canada. No, no, I've never been to Canada either. Where in the almighty tar nation could that a... Mighty fine-looking dog. Must have a good pedigree. Say! Ain't you the fellow I seen running up Battery Street the other night? Like you was running from some woman? You're really mixed up. If you had seen a woman running ahead of a man, that might have been me chasing her. But never running away from one. Well, it must have been your twin brother. Sure out right of my brain when I get to thinking I seen somebody and turns out I never did. Too much salt water and alcohol in the old days, I guess. Must have rusted my brain. Yeah, it reminds me of a thing from the Bible which goes as follows. Beware ye who rise up each day with a yearning for strong drink. And another thing we had to learn before the missions give us breakfast in them days. Wine is a viper. Strong drink is the devil. And whoever is deceived thereby. Fool. Pretty fancy words. Well, them words got us breakfast. I'll never forget them words as long as I live. Well, I was as good at faith as I am at words. I'll be all darn sure when I see you. Don't worry, mate. One of these days it'll come to me. That'll be 19 skins, Corky. Yeah, mere pittance. Cash on the line Mullins, they call me. Wait a couple minutes. I'll get the change for you. Yeah. Tide's going out. Mullins waits for an old man. Present it to the boys up there. When Johnny May comes looking for me, give her this letter. If you can stay sober long enough to remember it. If you can't remember, it's all right anyway. You ain't going to see that old corky. Pass off, my lad. Old she may be, but there ain't no finer vessel in the whole Pacific. Virginia and me could sail her to China. Or the fiddler is green. You might as well tell Johnny May that's where we've gone. What's the name of that last port? Fiddler's Green. But it's plenty of credit. And there's many a lass and many a glass. Never a stormy sea. <laughs>
true long lining for the year. Now we make ready for the salmon. A boat is a funny thing, Bruno. She can receive the love of a man and hold it, just like a woman. A boat lives. It'd be natural to stand and admire her. I think that's the way men have stood on docks all over the world, looking at the boats. They become young again. Yeah, I... I kind of feel that way myself. I can't figure it. A few weeks ago, I didn't know one end of a boat from the other. Bruno, that was a fine thing you do for Corky. Lending him money enough to go to sea. How about your business? You've been a long time away. It'd be pleasant to have you aboard. You'll get rid of me one of these days. One thing I already know for sure. I'm not gonna like it. Thanks, mates. The service is improving around here. Where are you going? We have a lot of work to do. So have I. I've got to help a friend of a friend with some homework. Don't strain yourselves. I'll be back. Hey. Just one minute of your valuable time. I'll make it fast. I'm late. This is your boss you're talking to, remember? You know, I don't think you appreciate how lucky you are. You've got your big fist in a wonderful business. And what's more, you've got a great guy for a pop. I want to see you treat him a little better. What is this? You're too pretty to muss up, so don't get excited. But keep this in mind. I like your pop. You can make him happy. And from now on, that's the way it's going to be. Understand? Just like you say, Bruno. Will you listen to me with an open mind for just one second? If I wasn't such an amateur wolf, I, I wouldn't have started things off so badly. Look, if you'll just come and have a cappuccino with me, I'd like to prove I can behave myself. And what would a cappuccino be? Oh, it's a mixture of hot chocolate and live steam with a little dash of brandy. Something like you. <laughs> and you call yourself an amateur. Please, they, they make them out of the street. Please. You've got too many people on your side. <laughs> so this is a cappuccino. A very special mixture. It's supposed to have magic powers. Like what? Well, they say that people who drink them together are bound to become lifelong friends. Salute. Well, well. I didn't believe it was possible. What are you looking at? You. You can smile. With a little practice, you might even learn how to laugh. I guess I never had much to laugh about. Oh, there's always something to laugh about. If you can't find anything else handy, you might laugh at yourself. My golly, you, you take life seriously. You know, I, I'm not sure I want you for a lifelong friend. You might give me the willies. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a very charming place. Bruno never brought me here. I uh, don't suppose it's elegant enough for Bruno. How is he? Oh, he's all right. Look, why don't you forget about that sour apple for five minutes and unwind? Look, just think of me as a, a, a professor, a guy who's going to teach you how to laugh. Okay, professor. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, Chad, you don't do so good today. You've been all afternoon corking two seams. You've been daydreaming, maybe? Well, what you do? That's no way to treat a ship. If you don't like the way I cork your bucket, get some other guy. But, Carl, you've been loafing all day. You hurt the boat that way. Take your hands off me. <laughs> Putting this off too long. Some water. You could have killed him. Yeah. You do not fight like a man, Bruno Falcon. You fight like a wild animal. No fights are nice. Not if you gotta win. Why did you do it? I don't know. I don't know why I did it. Thanks, Bruno Falcon. And when a farmer finishes his breakfast, he monkeys around in the field. Is it drinking time yet? Nope. It's only ten minutes past eight. You're a liar. You can't tell the time that way. You were never no Indian scout. Hey, you, come here. I said come here. Your name's Ball, isn't it? Granted. Maybe you can do something for me. Well. I was just leaving in a hurry to, to get home. You haven't got a home. Well, I, I was just this minute going to see a friend of mine that, that, that's holding a job for me. Come back here. How long since you've been locked up in a vag charge, General? I never was January, locked. wasn't it? Vagrancy, drunk, disorderly, disturbing the peace? You know, my brother looks exactly I like me. I understand you perfectly. But unless you want to spend a few more nights in the tank, you'd better give me some information. Where's this fella Corky Mullins? Well, he's gone fishing. And that's natural, ain't it? When will he be back? I ain't no swami. In his boat? Maybe never. Have you seen his car? He ain't got no car. Oh, no? What makes you so sure? Corky couldn't have. He's always broke. Even his boat's owned by a woman that's sweet on him. A, a regular siree. Did she buy Corky a new Ford? She couldn't have, or I'd have known it. You find out when Corky is coming back, General. I'll look you up in a day or so. Thank you very much, Chief. Smoke slow, General. It'll last longer. In such a hurry, you can't say hello to an old friend? I'm in no hurry. Just tired. I want to get home. How's the hat business? So-so. There's always the character who leaves a dime. 
Connie, I'm trying to figure something out. It's giving me plenty of trouble. Offhand, what would you estimate as the minimum time a woman can be loyal to a man? Kelsey, what are you trying to do, understand women? Questions like that will get you in real trouble. You know, I was kidding myself. You might stick to your man. But I guess this is where I came in. Connie, why don't you come over on our side for a while? The air is a lot better, and we need your help. I told you, until Bruno himself changes my mind, I believe in him. About this new boyfriend. What makes you think there is one? Oh, please, I've been in this business a long time. Ask me how you did in your English test at school, and I'll tell you. Why can't you meet an honest man for a change? Who said he isn't? I did. For one thing, he's quite a liar. Kelsey, when you think these things up, what do you do, hang by your knees? Oh, maybe he's just forgetful of a drinking from the fountain of youth. He bought a new car, but he took out the registration in the name of a Corky Mullins, who disappeared on me. That must have taken some doing. It so happens Corky Mullins is 64 years old. Well, why come to me about it? Because if we asked your new boyfriend, we might scare him away. And I've got a hunch you can be useful. See, Connie, I, I'm still betting you're on the level. Won't you help us? No. Well, I'll think it over anyway. Maybe when you hear from Bruno, you'll let me know. Sure I will. Calls me every day long distance from the moon. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Who's been chasing you? Nobody. I... Made sure of it. Kelsey knows about you. Or at least that you have a car. Everybody's got a car. Who's Kelsey? He's a policeman. How come you know him? Well, a friend of mine is in trouble, and Kelsey thought I might know something about it. Would your friend be Bruno? This is hot. And so good. You know, I'm beginning to like these more and more. I asked you a question. Yes, it's Bruno. I was afraid it might be me. I'm getting so I don't like being Bruno's collection boy. I I'm going to quit any day now. That's what Bruno always said. Carl, you told me that new car was yours. You don't have to impress me that way. It is mine. I, I thought a new car would make me feel big. Because I made a mistake once, I can't get a license. So I asked my friend Corky Mullins to use his name for registering the car. Anyway, I've done a lot of favors for him. See, I, I'm still trying to impress you. Kelsey won't stop till he finds out why your car is registered under another man's name. They can't hang me for that. But they could find out about Bruno. I couldn't care less. And then they'll find out about you. I guess it doesn't make much difference. It does to me. I like you, Professor. There be an unhappy bird, Bruno. Nobody ever heard one sing. Be a funny thing, nobody know where they go when they die. Nobody care either. I think the reason for that is the seagull does nothing. They spend their whole life waiting for somebody else to provide them with a free meal. We're sure not providing any meals. We haven't caught a fish in three days. one for you anyway. A fine fisherman you'd turn out to be. I bet the other boats are giving plenty. Then you polished the spoons this morning. Was any of them nicks? No, we used the brand new ones. And Bruno kept his fingers off like you said. We were both careful. No feed in them. Not so much as a shrimp or a sardine. They should be hungry. Yeah. Guess your pop be a bad fisherman this day, all right. But by and by, we make some kind of magic. When this happens, you have plenty of time to think how you do wrong. 
I, I've been doing some thinking, too. Now, now, don't expect me to change my ideas about this lousy business. I... I've been waiting to say something. I was wrong to push you that day, Pop. I hope you can forgive me. Just a minute. Bruno! Put her on the autopilot and come here, quick. So, you think the old man forget how to fish, huh? You think I don't know what happened in the salmon's brain? You think I just been sitting here waiting for the fish to jump on board, asleep in my head, so? Oh. So? So what? So I have two ignoramuses for a crew. So one day in the shipyard, I tell them to grease their propeller shaft bearings. And they are so busy knocking each other's blockheads off, they forget to do like I tell them. So the propeller turn, and the shaft goes creak speak, and the fish run away to other parts of the ocean. And they say that Hammer Linda be a fool, and they be right. <laughs> Hello, Hamill. It's fine night, but I still got a hunch it's gonna blow. Yeah, Carl thinks so too. You may not believe this, but Carl have come to be a fine fisherman. Why shouldn't I believe it? Well, people sometimes get the wrong idea. How's about the other guy? Where did he come from, anyway? I don't ask him any more than you would. So long as he liked to see, that'd be enough. What's the matter with you? You are more nervous than some old woman. Well, well, I have tried to think some things out. And I don't get anywhere at all. You know, I am not the Catholic, Barney. So what? Hot's people ain't Catholics. You ain't going to get the religion on me. No. Be much too late for that, I guess. But there are some things to be said. Things I have to say that would be much clearer if I come right out and say them. You don't make no sense. What are you talking about? Well, Barney Sriona, if you please, I would like to use your chapel for a little while. Go right ahead. No charge. Not being a Catholic, like I say, I, uh, I'm not sure how to begin. I could take you through the devotions step by step, but I have a hunch some other time it will be better. Go right in and run your own show. You sure this be all right? Why not? Us Catholics don't own God. Thanks, Barney. be said that I lost my son Carl a long time ago. And if there be some chance to get him back, I would like to do this. Now this day, it so happened my son was close to me. Closer than he was since he was a small boy. So he was like he was the time his mother lived make a wonderful feeling for both of us. Sir, I like to keep this feeling. And I be afraid every minute I do something to drive it away. Because I am the father. And I must teach him. And I must love him. And I must never be weak. 
always strong. So, because what reason is there for my living if I cannot do this one thing? Sir, I think you will understand all this, even if I don't say it just right. Because, sir, uh, you were a father. Things the matter? No, just a couple of boards are stuck. Okay, we cast off now. Put we'll in a minute. Who's that guy on the dock? I don't know. Some joker. What did he want? Want? Yeah. What did he want? Guess he was just trying to sell me some insurance. Insurance? Yeah. Well, what, what about it? What are you so head up about? What kind of insurance? For my car. Anything wrong with that? Oh, I guess I forgot to tell you I bought one. No, I guess you did. How did you manage to get a car? I paid for it. With money I got from minding your racket. How could you register a car when you're on probation? It's in Corky Mullins' name. No one has to know. And how come this guy tried to sell you insurance? He said he always keeps his eyes open for drivers of new cars. It's smart business. Yeah. You bet it's smart. So this guy just walks up to you, a big shot prospect with a flashy car. Only you don't tell him the car don't belong to you. What difference does it make? Or have you heard from Connie? What's Connie got to do with me? I've been taking her out a little. I like her and I think she likes me. You've been taking her out in that car? Yeah. That's just great. You ever look back and see how many squad cars are following you? This salesman, did he ask you many questions? No, he just said he's around the wharf quite a bit and he... What did he say his name was? He didn't say. You think I'm gonna fall for that? It so happens your insurance friend is a cop. What makes you think so? I don't think so, I know so. Now you listen to me. The last guy who tried to outsmart Falcon isn't around anymore. I wouldn't want to see that happen to you. Understand? You think this fog is going to hold us up? I think maybe it'd get clearer as we get closer in. Oh, good. I got business in port. You never leave the boat before. I think maybe you're in some kind of trouble. No. 
No, I've, I've never been in any trouble. Except that I could have used a pop like you a long time ago. Not so long ago. It's just you look older than you be. Your mouth twists sometimes, like a man who'd be afraid he said the wrong thing. He'd be fighting all the time. Who isn't? If you don't fight, the world walks all over you. Look at you. You fight the fish buyers, the weather. So what difference does it make? I can win, Bruno Falcon. So I am not afraid. That be how I try to teach Carl. He will not say inside himself that it be a fine thing to be a fisherman. He think to work by his hands is something to be ashamed about. Maybe Carl be right. Except that I do not feel ashamed. I never do. Hey. Get the boat hook. What we slow down for, Pop? Where'd he get the money to get to sea? Bruno tried to help him. Be in the water a long time. He picked this place. He said for you to wait. I'll be up the road a little if you need me. like to work for a living. You look wonderful. Your skin. Oh, when Carl told me I was going to see you, I, I had dizzy spells. I'm still whirling. I guess I was afraid. Why? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything lately. When are you coming back? Never. Why, Bruno? Once you said we needed each other, since you left, I'm not sure if you ever needed anyone. The whole world isn't against you. Yes, it is. I'm not. You and a guy named Amelinda. Someday when we're traveling first class on a boat going to South America, I'll tell you all about it. Meantime, what we have to do isn't going to be easy for either one of us. Because of Marty Prince? What have they told you? Well, Bruno, I begged you not to carry a gun. As long as I had to make a mistake in business, I'm glad it was him. Now, I'll need your help. Tomorrow's going to be your busy day. I'll do almost anything to help well, you. Karate almost. Doesn't sound like you. First thing tomorrow, go to Marty Prince Enterprises. Get some of their letterheads. I don't care what you tell them, but get them. Then bring them to me tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. I'll be at the north end of Pier 43. Oh, Bruno, I don't like this. You better like it. But I don't think... Oh, shut up. 
don't you think? Let me genius the brain, huh? I'm looking forward to the time when we can do things right. Just now we haven't got it. Make sure you're alone tomorrow night. Somebody? Right on time. I knew you would be. You're doing a great job, baby. Yeah, the papers you want. Yeah. yeah, these are really spotty. Now, a few more details and we're all set. Now, I'll be sailing tonight. On Thursday, call Sutter 12020. Ask for homicide. Say you're a friend of Monty Prince's. Tell them you know who gave it to Monty, see? And if they'll cover a new Ford parked behind Union Hall, wait till the driver shows up, they'll have what they're looking for. Bruno, what are you doing? Some policemen hold their jobs because they have good conviction records, and I'm going to help them. But you can find another way. Leave the country. Only tin horns try to run fast in the teletype machine. Bruno. That's why they wind up in places like Alcatraz. I won't do it. Yes, you will. real life together. I'm trusting you in our life. Quick. Beat it. These guys talk too much. Bruno! Bruno! Nine degrees. Now that'd be very fine. Albacore like that. You know, Albacore be the fastest fish in the ocean. He swim 30, 40 mile an hour, and when he hit, he hit hard. By and by, I think that something. There you go. Easy now. Easy. Remember, the hooks have no barbs. Like you lose him. Pull hard and even. Put your back in. Easy now, easy. First one of the season. You do a fine job, son. I got one pop. Good. I got two. Another one, son. We're in a pop. We're in a. I'll circle the school. Get them, boys. He find him, by golly. I try to call Barney and tell her. It's those seventh waves that get you. 
Stand by to capsize. What do you mean? Seventh wave. What? Every couple of minutes, a whopper comes along. It just turns out to be about every seventh. Don't ask me why. One rolled me on the beach when I was a kid. So I never wanted any part of swimming since. Yours? Yeah. I decided it's too fancy for a fisherman. I thought you weren't going to be one. After knowing you, I'm considering a lot of changes. For one thing, you're getting off this boat. And I'm sticking with Pop for a while. You giving orders? When we hit port, I'm giving you two hours to disappear. I'm only giving you that on kind of Connie and Pop. It won't do any good to make them feel sick. What's this with you and Connie? I want to marry her. What would your pop think of that? If I stay with him, he'll be happy. Remember, two hours after we get back to port. Hey, you two gossiping old ladies. Slow down hauling in the fish just because we got a little wind. Those fish won't wait around all day. Town after a while. Relax. We'll sink the boat for you. Search me. Too far. We won't sleep tonight. I guess nothing can happen, huh? What's the matter? You afraid to die? Hey, Bruno. Give me a hand here, will you? This hat's cover never fits just like it should. I hope. How you like this, Bruno? I don't. This be the trouble with the Pacific Coast. Not enough harbors. Monterey, 12 hours from here. San Francisco, the same about. Farallone Islands be no good in this wind. New Year's Island be no good either, so we have to write things out. This place is jumping tonight, isn't it? How about a brandy, Neil? My favorite brandy. I don't suppose you could stick by the rolls and wait till after we close. I need it now. I've stood behind bars a long time. You can get a free case of champagne for telling me something I haven't heard before. Now, when did he mistreat you? He never did. And what's the other woman like? There never was one. If I do a little weeping, Neil, it's because I owe one man a great deal for showing me the kind of life I didn't want. Would you be surprised if I told you what I really want as a home and children? On one half of one drink? Yes. In a lot of ways, he was so wonderful. He always used to say to me, Connie, you gotta be the very tops. Feel rich inside, walk proud. So? So that's what I'm gonna do. Even though I don't feel proud, he would want me to. All alone? I hope not. You sent for me? What made you think I'd know where Bruno was? 
You're a patient man, Lieutenant. I have to be. Remember how I hate to write things down. You don't have to write this down. I've decided to move over to your side. Fine boy, you do a fine job. You think the wind is dropping away, Pop? By and by, maybe. You must be tired, Carl. Take some rest. Nothing doing, Pop. If I get a chance to think, I'll get scared. It's easier to let you do the worrying. I'm not, buddy. <laughs> Remember, V with a W. It's worry. But you just relax. And, and do it with any accent you like. It will all feel better. I have this to say, Bruno. And if maybe we go for a swim, I think you should know it. I have to say that you are a fine fellow. But all of a sudden gave you that idea. You began it. Carl is with me again. I had nothing to do with that. So you say. I'd like to have you for a son, too, Bruno. For as long as you care to be. Ah. No, Pop, you wouldn't want me for a son.
Street. Why'd you ask me to come up here? Oh, it eases my official conscience. And this is a peaceful place. I suppose that's what we're all looking for. Have you ever had a Chinese fortune cake? I don't think so. They always have a bit of literature inside. Try yours, it might be interesting. The next moon will bring you love. <laughs> Could be. I, uh... I had a call from the Coast Guard this morning. A boat named the Taga lost a man overboard. A fellow who was really two people. It's funny how many different kinds of wild animals there are, isn't it? Thanks for telling me this way. Thanks, Lieutenant Kelsey. Well, Barney, I see you'll be loafing again. You cut that hole with a knife just so you could stay in port. <laughs> you going to a wedding or something? Maybe, by and by. Today be very important, my golly. Today, I swallow the anchor. You mean you're gonna quit for the season with all them fish out there? I quit forever. I'd be like a boat, Barney. Make a long sail and finally come to port. I'd be tired, Barney. Everybody in this business is tired. But even you ain't so crazy as to quit fishing. What would you do with yourself? Maybe I go to the mountains for a while. Ah, uh, you out of your head. Why, the second day you'll be down by some stream to try to catch a trout. Yeah, that's just what I do. I sit by the stream all day and think how lucky I am. So what happens to the tug while you dope it off? Oh, I sell her. You what? Carl, he buy her. Of course, he be short the cash, but he work hard. Make out by and by. What give him such a change of a heart? Bruno do a lot to change Carl's mind. And that girl, she have lots of spirit, by golly. She order all the food for Carl and help him with his fishing plans. You know, Barney, I lose a man at sea. I do not forgive myself for that. But it's wonderful to think that because of him, I find another man. Take care of things on shore for me, will you, Pop? Good fishing, Carl. I wrapped the bread double for you. It'll keep at least a week. Thanks, Connie. 